Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, today, today we're selling cattle. Um, we got all the crops in the ground, so now we can get back to making money and selling cattle. Uh, we got we got a load to bring out out of this pen you see behind me. Um, we've been averaging around a semi load a month, so <clears throat> um, now we got all the crops in the ground. We can get back to it. Um, so this is here's the fat cattle. We got a bunch of nice big reds in there. We bought like around the end of uh, last summer, and they're ready now. We made this uh, loading chute all ourselves here. Um, this gate comes around. And it takes the place of this gate. This gate here comes out and locks into that one. And this one here will lock in there. <clears throat> Cattle just flow right through here. Then our we got two docks here, one for a semi load here. We got a little gate here where we can open this up. Latch it in there. The cattle can just come through here. Then we may have another loading dock over here for a ground level. You just cl close this in here, come through here, open this up, this little gate. And it goes down to our ground level chute. So you got, you got our two options there. Makes it real nice and handy. We just uh, used four inch weld pipe and just used 90s there and just tied them together so they're not going anywhere. Super strong. So we got our two monoslope barns here with a gap in between and we needed to figure out a way to best and safest way to transfer cattle from uh, one side to the other so we came up with these uh, sliding gates here you got a set of wheels on front and we got unistrut uh, welded to the top of this gate and we got you see it in there they're uh, Unistrut rollers supports here. I put them on all threads so we could adjust to the height in case the height was off a little bit. We got one on this end and one on that end. And so, since it's on these uh, Unistrut roller skates, basically, all you really have to do is just hole on it and it comes out really easy I forget the length on these but uh, so we had to put one on the other side same thing this will come in just roll in and they'll both just meet in the middle here we'll put a chain around it now for the other side we couldn't do that same design so we just put a simple uh, swing gate in. That thing will just roll over. We put two big wheels on it to support the end of it. And put three, it's on three hinges there. That will just come clear across here and attach to this little small gate. So 
So I'm going to do a little demonstration here. I'm going to pull these gates out here and show you. Got to mention we put that angle at the bottom there so the cattle can't push the bottom of that gate out And there we are, we got our two barns connecting with this alleyway to transfer cattle from one barn to the other.
this is black one coming in, Dad. Yeah. about to load the cattle up um, it's about 85 degrees out right now but there's a nice nice breeze running through here so not too worried about the cattle overheating you see these barns are really made for airflow it's a real nice breeze through here cattle real content
there's a lucky few that didn't have room on the truck so they'll go in a week or two get these moved back now out of our incoming calf pen and put them back into the pen fat, fat cattle pen I'll open this back up so cattle can come in here and get more room. And when you just uh, roll this back in, it just yeah, for the most part, it lines right back up uh, to these roller skates. We've kind of flared out the end here, so it's a better chance of hitting its mark. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, so please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that would mean a lot. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Never thought I'd get close to a thousand, so getting close to it. Now just put me over that thousand mark would be awesome. So I appreciate it, guys.